up, everybody? Metro here, the storage nerds, ready to deliver another quick webinar. We're going to go deep on one application today. We're going to be talking about hot holding to support curbside applications, keeping that food uh, tasty for to go. Uh, we'll have Jim Dubay and Rachel Kern. They're our two gurus of product and applications when it comes to our metro storage, thermal storage, and transport products. Jim is our Canadian native. Rachel loves dogs. I'm born and bred right here in coal country in uh, northeastern Pennsylvania. All right, so last time we talked a lot about staging and pickup, the importance of staging. Rach, you can hear me okay, right? Okay. So we talked a lot about staging, and last time we're just going to go deep on one important segment of staging and pickup is that portion of your meals that need to be kept hot in order to keep your food hot and appetizing. Thinking about new pain points with all the extra volume that is flowing through the, the drive through and the to-go location. So food quality has always been important, but the issue we have is that there's increased to-go volumes. Um, restaurants are having a difficulty buffering these spikes in demand, and so the way you buffer those spikes in demand is with more holding, not set up with the equipment that they need today to do uh, From an organization standpoint, you know, these cabinets are set up generally to hold bulk food in large pans. Instead, we have more packaged meals. There's some different considerations from organization that you need to keep in mind with staging these meals to be customer specific. Um, speed of service really matters now. And so your operation needs to think about how you keep this hot food closest to point of service so that you could be efficient with your operations and not have your employees walking all over the place. Uh, and then lastly, these cabinets need to move. They need to move a lot, and some people don't have mobile equipment that could get to the places that they need it to be. So when you are transporting, there are different equipment options that are available for you. Kevin, segments are adapting. Restaurants in particular, uh, 100 percent to go right now most of them anyways and really um you know those with drive-throughs are in a good good position to a certain degree but they're still adding curbside and different things to manage big spikes uh to keep those lines moving they're they're you know they're, they're doing a lot of different things here um you know many many others are setting up curbside programs with say pop-up tents or similar to what applebee's has done in the past they were they're a little bit ahead of their time obviously um, but the the kitchen the kitchens are too far away uh, to carry every hot order out out to the to the parking lot. That Jim just mentioned. So in the picture there is a picking cart at Walmart, and most of the items that are picked within an order, they're not going to have to be held hot or cold. They could just be held at room temperature. But every order will have some hot and cold items on it, so that's why it's very important for staging areas. To also not only have shelving, which you'll see in the next picture, that's going to be the main focal point of the real estate there, Kevin, if you want to change. Yep, so there we go. We, we've seen this image before in our last webinar, but it's really important. Um, and then if you zoom in into the back, you'll actually see a, a heated cabinet. So it's really important to have refrigerated options and then hot holding staging solutions for orders and grocery. So do we have now? So schools have been adapting really quickly to be able to feed their students, um, and they're using pretty much whatever they have. So you can see in the image there, it's just a mishmash of a bunch of different carts, coolers, Mighty Lights that they're using to service their students. And there's been a huge shift to prepackaged meals. Which are on the last slide that everybody that school is just using whatever they had. So that's an opportunity for Metro and everybody on this call where we can all step in and offer some expertise. So Jim's going to talk now about some some hot holding options we have for staging. <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got some various options uh, for for staging hot hot and cold food, but hot in particular, we got two real good options. Obviously, we have our, our holding cabinet line, um, and then and then as Jim Wallace was chiming in there earlier, Jim, thank you. He's always good to do that for us. Um, we have our mighty light line, so. So just looking at cabinets, some some of our C5 cabinets in particular, some things to consider, you know, why, why they do a good job with this is we have different size options to fit anywhere. Um, you know, the ability to roll them, roll them in anywhere and set up anywhere. These products are used across multiple segments for that purpose, whether it's a banquet facility or a school, they're, they're rolling them in the cafeterias. Um, the power options can be very important. 
So uh, you'll most likely see the, 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 the request for 15 amp of, of the lower wattage versions of most cabinets so that you have that flexibility to plug it in anywhere. You know, for all our sales reps, kind of like, like transport, you know, you want to be able to plug it in where you can sort of thing. Um, and then one of the big things uh, we talked about earlier was organization and clear doors really help with that. They help uh, employees visually identify orders so you can see picture on the top left there that cabinet can't quite see the the slip on it but if you were in that room you could you could read the name uh, on that slip for that order or you know most most orders are going to have some sort of slip tied to it um and then <clears throat> looking at the slides or 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 or, or shell sort of thing so um most cabinets typically you have uh, pan slides in them the whole sheet pans and steam pans but we, we can also integrate shelves into our cabinet. So for this application, shelves and sheet pans work best. So next slide. So shelves versus sheet pans. Shelves, what's really good about the shelves is they, they create, they can hold anything. You know, they're, they're good for pizza boxes, all different sizes. You can stack things on them, to-go containers, plated meals. Um, they they're also give you a lot, a lot better horizontal um, storage space so you can kind of see in the top picture showing 21 inches across that's the door opening so you get that 21 inches say versus 18 on a sheet pan above it uh, but you also get another two three inches on the sides there uh, once you put things inside so you can move it over and take advantage of that space so you got 21 plus we'll say okay so you know maybe close to 25 inches of, of space to, to put things back and forth uh, one of the disadvantages though would be would be the this, the reaching into the back if you have narrower spacing. So I usually, for this application and those cabinets we showed before, usually four shelves does the job on a full height cabinet. That's about 12, 13 inch spacing. Lots of room to get your hands in and out of that. Uh, in this picture, uh, the guy with the hairy arms, that's me. Um, you know, I, I, I'm showing it at six inches because that's about the minimum you want, but still difficult you can see to, to get in there and, and reach. Okay, sheet pan is one of the, it's like one of the most popular shelves in the kitchen, right? There's thousands and thousands of sheet pans out there. People use them constantly. And so it, it helps, um, what, it, what it really does is you can see in this picture, this is only spaced at maybe four and a half inches for the, you can get the right spacing you need and just be able to slide that pan out and grab that last small item in the back. Sort of. All right, so now we'll jump back to talk about Mighty Light a little bit and like Jim mentioned, they're a really great option for hot and cold holding. Um, they're really affordable. So whereas a heated cabinet is going to be a little bit more expensive. And then they also allow a little bit more versatility. So if you see, look at the stack that's on the screen right now, you could have hot food in the bottom and cold drinks in the top. So you could have hot and cold in one unit. And then it's mobile if you put it on a dolly or you could also add heat to some of our, our smart solutions that we have on the next page, Kev. All right, so they're really great for curbside delivery and also staging. You could see them added to a few of our new units. Um, so those are a two of our new stations that we have available. Uh, they do not come with Mighty Lights on them. You have to do you have to add them separately from the order, but they're a really great addition. And you could also add the Mighty Light heater, which the SKU is MLH1, and then you could have a heated shelf option as well, which Kevin's highlighting right now. You can't really see them, but there are, there's two heaters on the shelf with uh, to-go containers stacked on top of them to keep them warm. All right. We have been talking a lot about some of the hot holding options. We do have cold options as well. Our C5 R series there, um, one of the most popular SKUs is C5R9 SB. So, really great uh, if you're doing cold staging. And then also our Mighty Lights. All right. And we have a really great promo that's going on right now through the end of May. It's an operator promo. So when a customer spends $1,000, um, they get some free Mighty Light product. That they and then also we have some of these options that are, they were actually just added to our website. So you'll be able to follow the links down there. Kevin has a little arrow saying click and click. So Next Thursday is grocery. And then we'll go on with different topics in the coming weeks. And we're going to try to keep them narrow and focused on key applications.